Welcome to another episode of the My Time at Portia series. And let's go ahead and head outside. It is day three now, I believe. It is said Wednesday, so let's see if anything's going on. And we do have a letter, so let's go ahead and check that out. From Town Hall. Hello, new builder. We'd like to remind you that Portia currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive in. The abandoned ruin number one below the church is church of light and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town for your own safety all other ruins are currently off limits thank you Portia town hall so day three all right this looks like a pretty early morning it's seven in the morning it just sounds awful as someone who is up most of the night goes to bed usually five in the morning <laughs> look it's a kitty pinky Her. So we can chat with the cat and we can gift it. I don't recommend giving it milk or fish or something because last time I gave it what I thought a cat would want, it didn't want it. Is your name QQ? Oh, it is QQ. Gust's loyal pet. Oink. All right, so <laughs> the reason I was curious is I started playing a game uh, and there's a pig in it and you get to name it and I just by instinct called it QQ and then I was like, wait. Why am I calling it that? <laughs> so something I want to check out is this cafe because when I was when I last played the game this wasn't a thing it was just like an exterior so I wonder if there's an interior now. Great job. Oh, we pass. This is your builder license. Congratulations. Thanks. Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered after which you can start taking regular commissions. Hooray! Come back and talk with me after you register. Sounds good. Alright, so is there an interior or is this- Okay, so it's still just a very nice looking area. It's cool seeing him sit there and drinking. It'd be nice to sit up there early in the morning. As much as I don't like waking up at, in the mornings, I actually really enjoy mornings. This is not where I wanted to go. I like how cool and quiet and peaceful they are. So if I stay up till seven, it's fantastic. <laughs> this is where I wanted to go. Not there. This one. Never mind. We gotta wait 15 minutes. Oh, you can go in the apartments now. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, this wasn't here before. <laughs> Look at that little, they have an AC. Something moved up there. Let's see what's up there. Oh, Nora. Your chat. My life at the university is busy. I'm glad to be a volunteer here. It gives me purpose. Nice to hear. Cool. Alright, so it says they're apartments, but they're like almost like hotel. Maybe that was what it was originally, because they're just rooms and then like a shared area. So I guess it's not at least the American traditional apartments. Where you have your whole, all of the stuff is yours, as opposed to just some pets. This is so cool. I like these paintings. A garbage bin. Wouldn't really want windows into what little space these guys have for privacy, but you know. <laughs> happy. Happy. Is there another word or are we just happy? Happy. Alright, cool. <laughs> Just starting to see if any of them have anything unique. I do like that they have... Ooh! This one's got a cool floor. Um, the proper number of beds. Well, that gave us something to do while waiting for the mayor. So happy that's a thing now. <laughs> I actually didn't think we'd ever get to go into that area. So that was, that was quite a surprise. A good one too. All right. Hello? Oh. Hello, mayor! Oh, Gail, you tiny little person. Welcome, welcome! You must be the new builder! I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? Uh... I don't... That, I suppose? Sure. I'm very, very creative, as you can see. 
Nice name. There, your registration is complete. Thank you. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> uh, I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. I think this is one of the best voice actors that they got in this game. I really enjoy whoever was the voice for Gale. I think he's definitely the most natural feeling, for sure. I also always miss those. <laughs> so hopefully there's a better notification or something of, hey, that thing's happening. You don't want to miss it. Hey. Hey. If you plan to visit other cities, I'd advise you have the Civil Corps escort. Some years ago, Audit went to Walnut Grove alone to get seeds. He was tracked by monsters for two days on his way back. Fortunately, Dawa found him and told us we were able to rescue him in time. All right. Maybe we should try sparring? This was probably not the best guy to try it out on, though. <laughs> Oh no, alright, so that's just a punch. Ooh, ooh, jeez. Would you, would you simmer with your cool punches here? <laughs> ah, at least we got a little bit of relationship from it. Two hits! Yeah, I probably should have chosen a weaker person to try out on. <laughs> oh, not the guy who defends the town. Ooh, I don't know if we've talked to her yet. Hello, Emily. Sunny farm girl, Sophie's granddaughter. Hello there, I'm Emily, your next door neighbor. It's so nice to have new people move into our town. You should drop by my ranch sometime. Ooh. We need rock, paper, scissors. I guess we should see what that's like. Do I just pick? Oh, it's a tie. Going for scissors next. Mm-hmm. We all won't lose next round. Ooh, we got two out of three. Oh, uh, this one. I almost have no, oh no, it's tied. Uh, hee <laughs> But yeah, when I play um, Rock, Paper, Scissors, it's almost always just completely random. <laughs> well, even though she called it a stupid game, we got a little more relationship with her, so that's good. We want to become good friends with the people we are going to be living near. So I believe the thing we have in our inventory in the seven slot can actually be hung in the house somewhere. It might even affect our stats. Let's see. So if I go to inventory and click on it, when placed in your house, you will receive bonus attributes. Okay. So more stamina. Let's go ahead and hang that up. We should be proud of our farming license. As you can see, we are clearly very proud of it. Uh, right, right there for now. Yay! And we can pick it up and move it. And we can like move our bed and stuff like that, I think. So someday I'll get to decorate this house. But for now, we need to go talk to Wesley. Do we need that thing I just put on the wall? Go to... Hmm. There's a chance. Maybe I'll go grab it just to be safe so I don't have to come back. Wesley, I have the thing! Hello. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh yes! Adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Okay. 
Is it broken? Okay. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins, you already took one today. There are never too many commissions. Good day. That runt. He's the owner of the current number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Prez. I got a job for you. Or not. <laughs> what is it, Arlo? I think your character's like, okay, I, I mean, whatever works. Like, if it was me, I'd be like, I'll just pick up one tomorrow, it's fine. <laughs> We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money. Well, young here is up for the challenge. <laughs> young mm, here is for the challenge. Should be something like this young builder. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction. What with the haunted cave and all. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you'll need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. I have the thing! Let's go ahead and put that away. I don't need to be a show-off. Um, but yeah, we were reading about that in the mail earlier, about those ruins. Should probably go down there soon. Those have changed a little bit since I played last. They're kind of nice now. Does this phone booth have anything to say now? Used to be a message from the developers. Yes, you. Wait, wait, don't hang up. I'm one of the makers of this world. I was the one that made the grass grow. How are you enjoying your time at Portia? If you have questions or concerns, you can email us. We are always open to criticism and praise. Mostly just praise. Let me tell you a secret. Somewhere in the abandoned ruins, there is a secret room. It's really awesome. Ah! We used to talk about it being in early access and all of that, so... It's cool that it's changed. Let's see, here we have one gist. We got some sour sauce. Yum. Oh, I love that they ride horses! We haven't talked to him yet. What's up? You must be the new builder I heard about. I'm Remington, a member of the Civil Corps. If you got any troubles, let me know and I'll try to make it go away. Thanks, buddy. Not gonna spar with you. Didn't go well with your companion. Go get your horse. There we go. Anyway, there's chests up there, but... I got them once and now I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> I like that games like this encourage your exploring. I know there's a chest over... Here. Really got copper wire. Nice. So like getting up on roofs and running around like that, it's kind of encouraged in this game, and that's fun. Even if I'm not very good at it. <laughs> oh no. We're good? Okay, we're good. Oh, I guess we're going up this way then. Oh, good choice actually. Got another one. Painting of a lovely or a lonely windmill. It can be lovely too. Go ahead and maybe stick that in our house. So I bet it gives us some kind of. Oh, it's so tiny! Um. Right there, I think. Go ahead and put down. Yay! So now we have more health and more stamina because of some stuff in our house. <laughs> it's a really neat idea. Uh, you don't see that very often in games. Have we talked to these guys? I don't think we've talked to this kiddo. Did you just move here? Never seen you before. Yep, just moved here. Good. We'll get to hang out later. Kind of going around and taking looks inside of the buildings, seeing what's new and everything. I know there's a lot of <laughs> this is so different um, places you can die, and I think that gives you stamina. And there's Sonia, we talked to her the other day. And in here is a bunch of mini games. Not sure what you can bit get from them. Badge exchange. Ooh, food. 
uh, books on how to plant crops. Ooh. Journal from the East. So yeah, there's books. <laughs> Project Bear. A cute bear doll that can help ease relationship tensions between couples. Uh oh. That's the I did wrong. Please love me still. Cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. <laughs> I love his art. That's the guy um, practicing uh, the swords with that kiddo outside. Round table. Yeah, I suppose so. Here's the flower shop. We talked to Alice. Hi. I haven't seen you around. You are? I'd love to do like floral arrangements and that kind of stuff. I think that would be so much fun. I'm always looking for a new book street if you have any recommendations. I uh, don't know at the moment, but if I think of anything, I'll let you know. Ooh, Lucy. Hi! We don't get new people moving all the way out here too often, so nice to meet you. I'm Lucy. I'm a teacher at the Porsche School. Must be a tough job. I know some of those kids are potentially a handful. Jack! You're new, right? Yep. I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. Nice I to meet you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Skipped ahead. Open here's Polly. The manly furniture maker. Oh, and I don't think we've talked to Petra. Hello, you're the new builder, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Petra. Hello. Nice to meet you. And Marlin. You're Marlin. new, aren't you? Are you lost or something? Uh, nope, that's why I'm in the middle of the city. <laughs> Are you lost? I think... So, oh yeah, so the, the insides are their houses while the markets are outside. Oh, this is lovely. I mean, a bit of damage. You need some help with that? Ooh! I thought I broke the game there for a second. Oh, very nice. Those are some- oh, that's a lot of dressers. I do like that it looks like it makes sense that these families live where they do. I always hated games where their insides, like, there's only one bedroom but like four people living there, you know? Like, they don't actually think about whose house it is. It's getting dark out here. Talk to those guys. The Porsche Times, so that's the newspaper. It's not open now. I don't suppose this is all- Open. Closed. Okay. And this is the shop of that jerk. Simply the best. You know he's gonna be a problem when he names his own shop Simply the Best. <laughs> Are you the new builder? I'm Polly. It's nice to see other people try to bring about the telesis of this world. Or at least that's what the mayor likes to say. <laughs> nice to meet you. There's a big bear thing. Let's go say hello to the big bear thing. I really like that the monsters sleep now. It's a cute detail. Except for that one. He's not sleeping yet. Maybe he's heading to bed. Waiting to see- Oh, he did go to bed! That's cute. Oh, oh, oh. oh hello, this is Papa Bear. Uh, this is the one that- that kid with the fur over there. He lives with that bear. Hey, Sanwa? I I heard about you. Name's Sanwa. Nice to meet you, Builder. Hi! What you doing out here? I thought you were your fishing brother. It looks like that is not you. There are a lot of them, and they're kind of hard to, to uh, separate sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and head home. Maybe pick up a couple things on the way. I wonder how many people we haven't met yet. Obviously some of the brothers. I think we've seen three? Maybe four? I know there's one up that direction. Oh, we haven't met the people up on the farm either. There's so many people in this game, but they're unique enough that they're easy to remember. Yeah, good morning. Good old day four. Thursday. And we got some more mail. Sweet. I wish I got this much mail and it actually meant something. <laughs> Not just uh, junk mail. Hey Builder, at the end of the week, we need qualified people to inspect these products. To coordinate with this, we do not post any regular commissions during the weekend, but feel free to turn them in. Okay. Neat. Hi Builder, I just want to inform you that the Civil Corps of Portia can take some commissions for, from you when it comes to gathering materials in the hazardous ruins. 
You can post a commission on our commission board in the building at the north end of town. There are some guidelines on the board and you should read before posting commission. That's all. Arlo. Oh, cool. And then Polly. Hey, new builder. I have a manly commission for you to help you get settled in. You feeling it? I need a... I'm in need of three copper blades for some of my furniture. I expect nothing but m macho quality, okay? Macho quality. Also, if you don't have one already, you'll need a grinder to create these blades. That is all I know about builder stuff. Okay. So we got a quest and some good notes. And, ooh, a quest, I think. Ah, Kiwa. Hey, you're the new builder, right? I'm Chiwa. I live Chiwa. to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. It's kind of my job, I think. I think that's why I'm here. <laughs> so let's see what we need to do. The quests that we have. The bridge one's going to be a little bit. It takes quite a bit of materials. Let's see. And then we'll need the grinder. How do we do that? All right, let's go ahead and check the grinder. We'll need old parts, which we can get from the ruins. Ooh, I like that it says where they're from. So nice. All right. Um, Yeah. Let's go ahead. It doesn't need something that the grinding stone. Okay. I don't think so. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like I needed another table to be able to make this one kind of video. Like a saw or something. So maybe we should go get those old parts and some copper. Okay. Uh, the other thing that might be nice to make, and I think we make it in this menu. What's this? Ooh. Does this mean like quests? We need the, the... yeah, okay. Cool. But I'm looking for this. We need some wood. So let's go ahead and collect that real quick. Woo! Level up! Now level three. Look at me go. That should have been enough. I'm going to make a chest. Is there a quest over there? Looks like it. So that I can have a full... or rather an empty. Or fully empty. Um, Backpack before heading out into the mines because there is nothing worse than getting in there and realizing you have a, a load of stuff and you can't pick up anything. So, so right now I just have my tools. Ooh, did I see? Okay, so we can rename it. And then what's up here? Aha, so we can rename it. Cool. And then there's a bunch of different ways to move things around quickly, which is also very nice. Let's go to that ruin under the church. We've talked to Lee, right? Have we talked to Russo? Yes, okay. Just want to get catch people when I can see them because sometimes they're a bit out of way so I don't talk to them much. I you like the people out on the farm. Hey there. First time ruin diving? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee, but we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. Thanks, buddy. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mining for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there. Just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. I don't know how much fun I can have mining, but I'll try my best. So workshop owner can make money through commission guild commissions or by selling items directly to shop owners. Okay. I think it's telling me because maybe I don't have enough money. Do I want to spend the 20 to open it up? Uh, to switch to another area. No, never mind. You used to have to pay, here it is, 80 for a weekly pass into it. Sure. I like that it stays the same now. Every time you used to go into it, it'd be completely new area. Whereas this one, you could actually make some progress and you're exploring. All right, so yeah. All the stuff in the corner we already know. So, go ahead and get this open. 
And I'm not seeing any rel- Oop, there's a relic way down there. Let's not go ahead and tag onto that one yet. Uh, something that took me a long time to realize is that the different colors of s of stone here means different materials are mined. So the, like this darker orange is copper. Whereas just this the stone will get you a different material. I used to think the only point of coming here was to mine where those little bits of light were. Figured it out eventually though. Now look at this vein. I will probably not make you sit through much of the mining. The sound isn't exactly pleasant to listen to, especially for prolonged periods of time. Oh, there's just not very many relics in this one. Maybe I should go get that one that I saw it was way down. Alright, here we are and we've got... what is this thing? Maybe I should go ask the research hunter. So a monument model piece. Interesting. Alright, so what else do we have here? Looks like a chest or something? Old parts! Woo! And power stones. Good. We need the power stones to power some of the workbenches. And obviously we need that old wood part or those old parts for what we're about to build. And we have a big blue thing. A weird glass jar piece. All right, good. <laughs> Another weird glass jar piece. Yep, there we go. Hey, what is this? I remember Remy saying something about this. So it looks like we need- we found a data disk maybe? Ooh, and another chest. What do you got? More power stones and old parts. Nice. Let's go ahead and see if we can find one more little bit of light to go to. And we'll head back to the surface. Um... A little phone? Old talker. It was a phone. <laughs> well, for a guess, that was pretty good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hit E to move back to the entrance. Huh, I am surprised it is still light out. <laughs> Felt like we were down there for a, quite a bit of time. Let's see, what did we get? We got quite a bit of stuff because the hot bear was completely empty. So lots of stone and sand. Soil. Hmm. Don't know much about that. Ah, we could probably spend some more skill points. <laughs> so I feel like endurance usage drain. The, the first one that would be good is getting more experience. Seems like a straightforward one to get at the very beginning. Um, another one is maybe these two or getting more social points from our peeps. Maybe I'll make it so we can do more in a day for now. Okay, there we go. And here we have our missions. Okay. Photos. Oh yes. Very fun. Ooh, I don't think we've talked to May. Hey! Hello, new builder! And who are you, right? Oh, that's who you are, right? I'm May. I work at the newspaper. See you around! Well, you have fun going wherever it was you were going. Go get that news. Ooh, Emily has a quest. Hello, Emily, the farmer. Hey, neighbor! Do you have a minute? I've been meaning to talk to you. Sure, what's up? I just got a new craft recipe all the way from Highwind. It's a box that can be used to cultivate crops. People in Highwind have been using it for a while now, and supposedly it's great. Can you build it and test it out for me? If it works as advertised, I'll order a few more off of you. How Ooh. about it? Sounds good. Thank you. Here's the craft recipe, and here's a few seeds to plant. If you want more seeds, you can buy them from my granny's shop. Try growing them to maturity and showing me the harvest. Also, I have a tip for you. Use fertilizer to help increase the harvest. I hope I'll give you some of that as well. Thanks, Emily. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna probably wanna do now that we're back is get our copper started. So we're gonna need to refuel with our measly three <laughs> logs. And go ahead and craft maybe 10. Go to the max. And then I'll probably harvest a little more wood so we can get that fully stocked. All right, we've got that fully stocked up now, and I think we even have a little bit of leftover wood. Maybe not. But we've got all kinds of good stuff from the, the mining today, which is exciting. Let's go ahead and 
head to bed. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. It's kind of cool seeing all of the quests that we've already gotten. Wow, that was an abrupt change. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it now that we have our little builder's license. That would look so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.